Welcome back to the Hobby King KK2 checklist video series. Part 4 KK2 settings. We got the basic KK2 setup complete. Let's take some time to set up some other settings. Go into the menu and navigate down to the PI editor and select it. This is one of two places where to set how well the self leveling works. I'm not going to cover tuning, but I'm going to provide a link in the video notes where to find some good tuning help. Come out of this menu and navigate to the self-leveling settings for the rest of the tuning settings. Exit this menu when done. Navigate to the mode settings and select it. Set the self-level to aux to allow the self-leveling to turn on and off with the transmitter switch. Set link roll pitch to yes so that the P&I changes to the pitch also change the roll settings to be the same. This is typical for our quad. Set auto disarm to yes and then exit this menu. Navigate to stick scaling and select it. You can leave the defaults. 30 is good for roll and pitch, 50 is good for y'all, throttle 90 is okay. I made the mistake of setting these too low when I did my initial testing and the controls didn't respond enough. These are good beginner values even with the normal rates on your radio. You can increase these after your fine skills get better. Navigate to the miscellaneous settings and select it. You can leave minimum throttle at 10, but later may want to increase it a little to create a smoother startup. Don't be afraid to experiment with some different settings. You can also experiment with the height dampening and the height dampening limit later. Leave them at zero for now. Set the alarm 1 tenth volt setting. This tells the KK2 when to start sounding an audible alarm when the voltage gets too low. If you have a 3 cell LiPo, you probably want an alarm when the voltage gets down to 3.5 volts per cell or 10.5 volts. To enter this, change the value to 105. An 11 volt limit would be 110. The value is always 10 times the voltage. Exit this menu, disconnect the battery, install the props and hubs, and make sure they're on the right direction. The numbering on the props should face up. Notice that your props are made for one of two directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. This is what a clockwise prop looks like, and this is what a counterclockwise prop looks like. Recall that we looked at the motor layout and we noted the direction of each motor. For a quad, front left and rear right are clockwise and others are counterclockwise. Typically, the props alternate direction as you go from one motor to the next. Next, check the center of gravity. You want to balance the quad front to back and left to right. If it's balanced, you should be able to hold it in the center with two fingers and it should be able to stay fairly fixed. I've also found that it helps to keep most of the weight in the center of the quad as possible to keep it balanced. This concludes this part of the video series. Click this link to automatically advance to the next part of the video series. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to get reminders for future videos.